Hello again, this is Najib from Algeria and in this video I want to explain the earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm. Okay. So here I have three processes T1, T2 and T3. That's the capacity, that's the deadline and that's the period. We can schedule this system here in just 20 units of time because here the LCM of 20, 10 and 5 is equal to 20. Okay. So that means that, that if I continue scheduling, I just uh, get the same thing here. Okay. So uh, let's get started. Here T1, the, the period is, is 20. That means that it starts from 0 to 20. For T2, the, cap uh, the period is 10. That means it starts from 0 to 10 and then restarts again from 10 to 20 and here also that's the period is 5 that's mean it starts from 0 to 5 and from 5 to 10 and from 10 to 15 and from 15 to 20 for the period for the period the period uh, excuse me for the deadline that's mean that in this period we must run three uh, units of times before we reach the seven before we reach seven units of time that means the deadline is from zero to seven we design it by bottom arrow here for the second one the deadline is eight so that means that it started uh, in this period the first period from zero to eight and then in the second period from ten to eighteen for this one here, the deadline is five. That means uh, it starts in the first uh, in the first period from zero to four, and then from four to nine, and then from ten to fourteen, and then from fifteen to nineteen. So here, let's get started. Let's get start uh, sc uh, start scheduling now. So the the capacity here is a three, and then it's two. And here the capacity is 2. So here what we must do, we just look at the closer deadline. Here that's the deadline of T3 and that's the deadline of uh, T2 and that's the deadline of T1. The closer is this. So we just ran one unit of time of T3. Okay. And here we update, we make it just one because we, we executed one unit of time. Here, uh, we, we look at the closer, it remains this. So we ran one unit of time, and we update here. That's zero. That the capacity is, uh, is executed. Here we continue, we are here in the second unit of time. Here the closer between this and this, so this is the closer, okay? So we ran T1, one unit of time of T1, okay? So, and here, it remains two, okay? And then the closer between this and this deadline is this. So, we ran one unit here, and it remains one. Now, the, the closer between this and this, it's always T1, so we execute it. So, here it remains zero. But here in this unit of time, in five so that's a new period that's top arrow here that's a new period 43 that's mean we uh we initialize again the capacity that's a new capacity must execute it in this period okay so now <coughs> the closer so the closer between t2 and t3 because it this has zero units of time to execute it finished its job that's that's mean okay so here uh, so the closer between this and this is this so okay so we ran this units of time so it remains one okay and here also the closer is this is t2 so we ran it, and it remains zero. Okay.
So now the closer, so we have just this. So we ran it here and we update. And here also the closer is this. So we ran it here and we update. Now this, uh, now the the processor the processor uh, stay idle. No, uh, no process want to execute. And here in the unit of time ten, so this and this wakes up. Okay, because that's a new period for this for T three and that's a new period for T two. Okay, so we initialize the capacities also to three. Uh, excuse me, two two. So I have a, an other example. If you want, just check the descriptions below. Okay, and also I will code a C program for this algorithm. Uh, so just check the descriptions below. Here from this, so uh, we have just T two and T three. The closer is this, so we ran it. T three, we update. And here also, we ran T3, and we update. Here we have just this. And here also. And here the processor uh, stay idle. And here in the unit of time 15, the T3 wakes up. So here we have just this because the periods are ended uh, in T1 and T2. We have just this period here. So we just run these two. Okay, that's it if you want. So the next example, if you want to see my next example, just check the descriptions below. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Thank you for watching.